Sheikh Abdurrahim Green. Assalamu alaikum. I want to go to Jannah with my wife, who is a newly converted Muslim. Finally, somebody wants to go to Jannah with his wife. That's what Sheikh said. I do too, ya akhi, mashallah. Oh, oh, me too, me too, mashallah. Because she's here. <laughs> but unfortunately, my wife refuses to do the five daily prayers. She keeps on saying that there is no compulsion in Islam. She will do it when she is ready. She said, the more I try to guide her, the more we argue. Now I'm afraid that the gap of our iman gets bigger and Jannah gets further apart from between us. Nevertheless, our love for each other is not affected. My wife is a perfect wife for me, for I cannot find any flaws except her duty to Allah as a Muslim. <coughs> Sheikh Mufti Menk. Subhanallah. Sheikh Muhammad Salah. Uh, don't Sheikh Faisal me. I eh? think I just answered the question earlier. I did. The question was answered earlier, alhamdulillah, about the importance of the prayer and what if you do not pray. And subhanallah, there is one hadith, Sheikh uh, Mufti Ismail, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu ummati yadkhulun al jannah. Rejoice. Every member of my ummah shall enter paradise. Kullu ummati yadkhulun al jannah. Behold, illa man aba. Except for him who refuses, the companions will shock. And who would refuse to enter paradise? He said, Man ata'ani dakhal al jannah. Wa man asani dakhal aba. Whoever obeys me shall enter paradise. And whoever disobeys me has refused to enter paradise. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide the sister. And every brother and sister who is lacking behind on their prayer. This is the only act of worship, which if you are truly negligent of its performance, can lead you out of the folds of Islam. And if you die in this condition, just imagine, the first su'al, the first question will be, have you prayed? You better prepare an answer for this question.